What's going on everyone? Jossie here and in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing why I think coding is the perfect job for 2021. Now keep in mind when I say coding, I don't mean just programming jobs. I mean anything within tech and software. So, you know, software development, software engineering, front end development, security, consulting, you know, technical program management, and the list goes on. If you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, that helps out with the algorithm a lot. So more people can see this video. I think it will be really helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. As no surprise, the pandemic has put a huge strain on the job market, the economy, and unemployment skyrocketed. However, when it comes to software development, software engineering, and other tech roles, there has been huge opportunity. And the reason being is because of the trillions of dollars that companies worldwide are going to be spending in order to invest in digital transformation. Well, computers have become an extension of who we are and they become even more a part of us since we're spending so much more time at home. We use computers for nearly every aspect of our life from FaceTiming relatives during the holidays to posting a picture of your most hype pair of Jordans. I figured I'd show off what I'm rocking today. This is something that I wanna add in my videos. I do like fashion, you know, a little bit. Um, I definitely am kind of a sneaker head. So today I'm just rocking this gray, you know, hoodie from Urban Outfitters. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's just a gray hoodie. I like the little green pockets in the front. I'm rocking these Therma, these Nike Therma running pants. Um, I love how they're kind of scrunched at the bottom to kind of show off the sneaker that I'm rocking. Also, they're really comfortable, perfect for cold weather. Got kind of that like Therma-like material. I'm rocking the Yeezy Clay Brown V3 700s. Um, no, I don't wear my sneakers in the house, so don't kill me for that. But um, I've been rocking a sneaker the past few weeks, especially um, since it's cold outside. And they're really rugged and comfortable, so that's my fit for today. Give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you like this segment. I'll be sure to add it into other videos. During the pandemic, the unemployment rate grew drastically. However, the unemployment rate for software roles have only increased from 2% to 2.2%. And with the increase in digital spending, I really don't see that rate trending upward. And if it does, it'll be very small. According to code.org, there are hundreds of thousands of software jobs in the US alone that need to be filled. So as you can tell, there's a lot of job security in tech and software. And that's something that a lot of us have been valuing even more because of the pandemic. So let's talk about digital transformation really quick and how that correlates to coding being one of the best, if not the best, you know, jobs to pursue in 2021. And at least a skill set I think is necessary um, in 2021. So we already know that companies are gonna be spending, you know, trillions of dollars and investing into digital. So whether that's, you know, facelifts on a website, you know, updating the user experience to, you know, adding new features to their web application or mobile app, especially since we're spending so much time on the internet, in the house, opposed to, you know, being outdoors. So having those like niche coding skill sets, like, you know, HTML and CSS can help a lot because a lot of companies continuously need someone to take a design, bring it to life, um, update existing, you know, experiences, along with having skill sets and, you know, back in technology and frameworks and programming languages like um, SQL, um, having experience with Node.js, you know, React for more reactive user experiences. All those skill sets are really valuable especially a lot of those companies that need their website to kind of have a more mobile app kind of feel. When it comes to remote work, that's one thing that I think is great and that the software industry has done an amazing job um, of creating for their employees. The software world has already normalized remote work. And in fact, you could say that software development engineering has been really the pioneers of remote work through the creation of version control technology such as Git. 
So if you're someone who is interested in working remotely because you want more freedom like a digital nomad or want to spend more time with your family, then coding would be an, ex an excellent route to take because it will open up a lot of doors and you'll just increase the opportunities that you'll have at your disposal. Also, maybe you'll be able to pull off getting a remote job at a fan company while living in a city that has a lower cost of living, which is a huge plus. Obviously, money is important to us. Um, money isn't everything, but it is a tool that can help you, you know, live a more comfortable life along with investing in things that you enjoy, whether it's hobbies or a side hustle. One thing I love about programming is the pay is good. Um, I can't lie, it's, it's important. <laughs> um, whether that's taking that money and investing in you know, a lifestyle brand business or investing in you know, a YouTube channel, it's nice to be able to utilize the assets that you have for your skill sets um, to cr you know, create things outside of work that you enjoy. The median salary for software developers is actually a little bit over $100,000, which is more than enough for most cities um, in America. And you never know, you may end up you know, getting a job over 100K as your first job, especially depending on what city you're in or the company that you get a job for. It doesn't really take a long time for software developers to make 100K. When it comes to tech, one of the main things that I think about is you know flexibility and the perks that come with the companies that you work for because they're all competing to get the best talent which is why you hear about these crazy perks like unlimited amount of pto or slides at the at the office and you know free food and free coffee ping pong tables i worked at a company that had a playstation and an xbox in the same room with like 80 inch tvs um, some companies do that so you don't have to leave the office, which is, eh, I don't know how I feel about that, but it is a nice, relaxed work environment a lot of times. And there are a lot of perks that you can enjoy. Just to give you an example, Google offered their employees up to $1,000 to pay for equipment to help them work from home, for example. They also offered free meals for employees, cooking classes, and so much more. Netflix offers paid leave for new parents for an entire year, and Twitter announced that employees can work from home forever. And this is really just scratching the surface um, for the perks that tech companies offer. Coding offers an array of opportunity to work with really smart people to create amazing things that make life easier for the user. If you're someone who gets excited about creating things from nothing and solving problems, then learning how to code is a great way to get your foot into the door of top tech companies or a job that you love. Also, I know that there are a lot of you all who may feel stuck in the job or career path that you decided to take. And one thing that I love about coding is that it will open up so many opportunities for you um, no matter what your experience is because there are companies who are looking for entry-level developers and there are companies who are looking for someone with maybe a business background and maybe you have like coding bootcamp experience or you did some coding on the side and they need kind of like a technical you know program manager so i guarantee you that having coding skill sets will open up even more opportunities than you even imagine. There are a lot of companies that are creating new roles. Um, new roles are arising all the time, right? We got this digital transformation. There's gonna be more features that need to be created, which are gonna create new roles inevitably. I'd even say, even if you don't wanna be a programmer, learning how to code is helpful because like I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of business roles or more businessy roles at major tech companies that are gonna require you to have some coding skill sets and they're gonna ask you coding and algorithms even if you're not gonna use that in the role because you might need it. So it doesn't hurt to learn how to code. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanted it to be short and sweet. Um, it's straight to the point. Um, hopefully this video will help you with your career path, give you some clarity as to what you wanna do along with inspiring you to learn how to code regardless of what career aspirations you have. Um, give this video a thumbs up. That would be super helpful. As I mentioned earlier, I want more people to be able to see this because 
I think this video can be helpful, especially coming from someone like myself, who is a programmer, specifically a front-end developer, and I also major in computer science and have full stack development experience as well. Subscribe to the channel. I love for you all to become a part of this amazing community of engineers, creators, and of course the curious, and hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. With all that being said, I'll see you all later. Peace.